Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, welcome back in. Steve here with Swamp Bottom Baits. Um, we're getting ready to make up an order of some frogs. So I just want to take you along on it. I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So the color that uh, I'm making, uh, I call Zonker Red. And we have our Dead On Plastics here. It is two-thirds craw two blend, one-third swim bait blend, and it is in floating plastic. So, um, the color base is Purple Zonker by MF. And I'm doing it in a two cup, because uh, if I was doing a one cup, because I want to do exactly one cup, it would overflow the cup. So, three, four, five. So we're using 25 drops of purple zonker. And purple zonker is got uh, like uh, you can see the metallic look to it right there. I'm not exactly sure what uh, what I put in it. It's the a purple with that uh, additive in it. And then we put in some 035 Red Flake. Um, this is a square cut from MF. And I'm going to start out with one quarter teaspoon. It's usually about all I use, but sometimes I might add a little bit more. And you see over here the, uh, the mold that we're using is the uh, Atomic Toad from Angling AI. Um, we call it a pad hopper. So, there you go with the Zonker Red. All right, so I'm gonna throw this in the vacuum chamber for a second while we go ahead and put the mold together. make sure we get the last little bit of air out of it um, while I was heating it up and converting it over I had already ran it through the vacuum chamber once so we will check the temp on it and make sure right before we shoot it that we don't have to touch the heat up anymore There's not much air in it. But we did stir a little bit in there. And we're adding in the color and the flake. So I like to make sure that it is clean. So this is going to be a floating blend. Uh, the floating blend, when you just put it in the water, does float. When you add an EWG to it, it will cause it to slowly sink. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of air bubbles on the top of that. I always flash it just a touch to make sure the top is clean. Now we're still sitting about... 310 so I think we're going to be all right I hold pressure out just for maybe about 15 20 seconds Top our sprue off. And that is it. And we'll come back for the reveal on it. There is what our purple zonker looks like. It's a nice purple. Got the red flake in there. So we'll be back. Alright, welcome back again. 
uh, shot the mold a couple times off camera so we could make the bags worth of them. Alright, so there we go with our purple zonker pad hoppers. And take them off the sprue there. Oops. So you see the hook slot on the bottom of that right there and the raised piece right there to put your hook into. But there you go. That's our pad hoppers and purple zonker. Thank you again for joining us. Y'all have a nice day.